Hi, I'm Jim Prappas. I'm again here at the Downtown Aquarium Houston, and I'm with our lead trainer as she takes you through training with our green wing macaws. Hello everyone, my name is Allison and this is Becca. We have two green wing macaws with us today. I am working with Wednesday and Becca is working with Lewis. Both are male green wing macaws that are 22 and 21 years old. And that's actually still pretty young for these guys. Larger macaws can have human lifespans. So some can live to 50, but some can live to 120. So that's a really incredible adaptation these guys have in the rainforest. Adaptations that these guys have to make them successful in the rainforest where they live along the Amazon River are they're actually their bright colors serve as communication and camouflage. If you can imagine the canopy layer in the rainforest, it is filled with bright colors of the flowers and the fruits and the birds, and also very loud noises from monkeys, birds, and all sorts of animals and plants. So parrots have the ability to mimic the sounds around them, and that may be other parrots to communicate with each other, or it may be predators, or whatever they think sounds cool. So the birds that live here at the downtown aquarium have picked up several noises throughout the years, but a lot of them are people noises because that's what they hear every day. Can you say hi, Birdie? Hi, Birdie. Good. Green wing macaws have a variety of adaptations that make them really great at living in the rainforest. One such adaptation is their zygodactyl toes. Go on, chill off those toes. Good job. So that allows them to hold on to tree branches and perches with ease, just like Lewis is doing right now. So they can climb around in the trees if they need to. Uh, their beak also can act as a third limb so that they can use that to climb as well. Uh, besides being useful for climbing though, that beak can also act as a built-in nutcracker. In the wild, of course, nuts don't come shelled like they do for us at the grocery store. So green wing macaws and other parrots have to use their beak to crack them open so that they can get to the nice tasty part on the inside. They'll also use those zygodactyl toes to hold onto their food so that they don't drop it all the way down to the forest floor because that's where all the predators are. Their beaks are so tough that they can crack the shell off of a Brazil nut pretty easily, which is something that we can barely do with the nutcracker. So another really cool adaptation that these parrots have that actually help them after they've cracked open those nuts or torn into the fruit is their tongue. Their tongue isn't as wet as ours and it actually has a bone in it so that they can use that like a fifth finger to help pry out all the good food. So just like our other parrots, Wednesday and Lewis know a variety of behaviors from showing off their natural behaviors, to doing mimicry, to actually painting and helping us to raise money for our conservation partners like the World Parrot Trust, Conservation of Parrots in Bolivia, and the Wildlife Alliance. With all of these adaptations, like breaking things in half and screaming very loudly, we'd be remiss not to mention that they actually don't make very good pets. They can be very loud and very destructive, which is why it's so great that we're able to give them things to destroy and places to yell here at the Downtown Aquarium. Thank you so much for tuning in and listening to us. I hope you learned a little bit about these beautiful creatures, and I hope you're inspired to help us protect them in the wild. Thank you for joining us here at the Downtown Aquarium. Follow us on social media because we'll be posting many more presentations for your enjoyment. See you soon.